Hey, I'm Dr. Aldo Antar, Christian psychologist, helping you to have relationships that thrive, whether that's dating, marriage, family, and friends. Um, I'm here to help you to have relationships that thrive. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's very serious that I don't see a lot of conversation about on social media. It's about how to get your man to calm down, how to get him to regulate his emotions and his temper so that he does not harm himself or others. So if there's someone in your life who you're worried about, whether it's your husband, whether it's your son, whether it's your brother, whether it's your father, whether it is a friend, whether it's your boyfriend, and you are concerned about him being able to regulate his temper, I want you to listen to this. There is research that says that there are things that men and women can do to actually make themselves be calm under pressure. There are things that can be done to help men to calm down. So when I do marriage workshops, a lot of times, you know, I am with the men in a solo session and I talk to them. And I say one of the greatest things you can do to be a better husband, to be a better uh, boyfriend, to be a better father, to be a better businessman is to be able to keep your temper when there is pressure. And so what we call is carrying capacity. How big is your carrying capacity? So there's some men that have carrying capacity this high, and there's some men that have carrying capacity this high. You know, it's like we want your carrying capacity to be at, at the top. So say this is your wife's emotion. This is the stress. We want to make sure that you're up here so that you don't get over, you don't get flooded up here. Does that make sense? Because when this when you flood and this fizzes and this blows everywhere, then you end up hurting the people that you're around. You end up abusing your wife or saying things you didn't mean. You end up being snappy, you know, or discouraging your kid's spirit because you're so so full of, of, of uh, cortisol, so full of stress, you know, that you are saying negative things to the people you're supposed to care about. As a businessman, you know, your staff doesn't have high morale. They feel like you don't talk to them the way they should be talked to with respect. And you're just over, just overwhelmed. You're a son. You talk back to your mom. You love her. And when you're mad, you just can't help it. Well, we know a lot of that comes from trauma. When there's been trauma, a lot of times the, the sympathetic uh, nervous system has been enacted. That, and it's the flight or fight response that happens, you know, and you probably learn in one-on-one biology where it's, it's useful. So like if someone attacks you, you need your adrenaline to be pumping. You need to have all your emotions. You need to be on 10 so you can defend yourself or get away. But what happens is when we're traumatized and you have that sip and there's always something going on, you find yourself being more keyed up. You're quicker to snap. You're quicker to lose it because you cannot relax. So remember, the opposite of the sympathetic uh, nervous system is the parasympathetic nervous system, which actually calms you down, which is related to relaxation, digestion and regeneration. So what happens is you have to find a way to calm yourself down after a trauma. And there are many of you watching this. Many of the men in your lives that have been through trauma, they've been abused, they've been raped, they've been jumped, they've been beaten, they've been abused, they've been physically abused, emotionally abused. They've just been in a lot of such abandoned. There's been a lot of issues. And so it is, we're not excusing it because there are many men that have been through that who are calm. But the thing that you don't know is that there's something that they do. They're able to calm themselves down. So what that, what that focuses on is being able to relax in something called the vagal nerve, the vagal nerve. So a lot of times in psychology, you hear people say, improve your, your, your vagal tone. Well, you're like, what the heck is that? And that's why I do these videos. Basically what that means is do the things that actually calm you down, that stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, that strengthen it. And so some, some suggestions. One, uh, prayer. So praying and praying longer and longer each day. So where you're breathing while you're praying, and you're asking God to calm you down. But the whole time when you're doing it, you're spending more time being still. So you're like, how does that calm you down? Yes, there's the faith works, a faith part, but there's also the works part. And so that means that as you are praying, and say you start with maybe three minutes a day, and you're trying to clear your mind, you graduate to five minutes a day, seven minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. And of course, where you know, you're thanking God, you're asking God for what you need. But then the last part and probably the longest part, you're just sitting in silence, breathing, asking God to speak to you. All right. Prayer. Number two, meditation. Very similar. You are controlling your breathing. You are being mindful. You are having presence. What you're doing is that you're slowing your heartbeat down. You are practicing being able to calm yourself down. Number three, Yoga. Yoga is probably one of the, the biggest recommendations that, that exist in trauma research is that we send people to go get 
uh, yoga, especially when there's been sexual abuse or physical abuse, because what are you doing? You are practicing staying calm, controlling your breathing while you are controlling your body. And what do you usually lose control of? In a trauma, especially if you've been raped or sexual abuse or physical abuse, uh, you've been jumped, you don't have any control over your body. You just have to kind of sit there and experience it until it is done. And so being able to relax yourself and gain control over your body gives you a sense of mastery. Uh, Four, exercise. Being able to exercise and have that self-discipline every morning releases endorphins that calm you down, that relax you, that get you in a better state of mind. That's why so many people exercise, especially so many of the world's top five percenters, they exercise on a regular basis, not only to stay in shape, but they're trying to keep their mind in shape. You know, a good friend of mine, Brandy Harvey says, are you in fighting shape? If someone comes to you, are you able to defend yourself, not only physically, but mentally? So when your wife comes at you, your children present stress, a business presents stress, can you calm down? This is something that we teach NBA athletes, you know? So when I used to you know, consult with the Thunder and we'll work with the NBA athletes in a couple of weeks, depending on when you see this video. One of the things we'll teach them is how to be able to calm themselves down very quickly so that when you shoot a free throw, you're not dealing with all the emotions and the negative thoughts about missing and what this is going to mean. You're able to clear your mind, focus and shoot the free throw or focus on what you need. That is that is handy. That is a, a life skill that you need in life. You need to be able to calm down when things are stressful so that you're not saying negative things to your your mother, your wife, your children, your daughters, your sons, the people that you really love. So what I want you to do is I, I want you to take one of those things or any combination of those recommendations and start to practice being able to calm down and increase your carrying capacity. You know, I have a wife and two daughters. One's a middle schooler and one is two. There's a lot of moving parts in my life as well as being a business owner. So you all understand. And so I have to stay calm to be able to make sure that those things work because one bad day can ruin you. All right, so men, I hope you listen to this. Wives, mothers, daughters, send this to the men in your life. I think you hear the ambulance in the background that's right on time because we don't want any of those ambulances coming because you've had a heart attack and you've done something you regret. We want to keep you cool, calm, or under pressure, just like former President Barack Obama so that you can carry your wife's storm, carry the business's storm, and you can carry your children's storm just like Jesus When there was a storm, he was laid back and he just said, settle. We should have that same common spirit. I think it's the most responsible thing that you can do as a man, which is practice remaining calm so that you can handle your family, your wife, your girlfriends, the business is storm. All right, I'm Dr. Tart. If you want more tips, just join join my email list. Text uh, Tart, T-A-R-T-T. Text Tart, T-A-R-T-T to the following number on your on your smartphone. So go in and type 22828, 22828, and then type in TART, T-A-R-T-T, and you'll get these tips delivered right to your inbox because I want you to have relationships that thrive. All right, take care. God bless.